the first gamma-ray eclipses from a spider star system, in which a superdense, rapidly revolving neutron star known as a pulsar is feeding on a stellar partner, have been discovered by astronomers. These previously unobserved gamma-ray eclipses are brought on by the pulsar's low-mass companion star moving in front of it and momentarily blocking high-energy photons. A worldwide team of researchers examined more than 10 years' worth of data from NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope and discovered seven spider systems that were experiencing similar gamma ray eclipses. In one instance, the discoveries aided in determining the mass of the pulsars in spider systems and how tilted they are regarding Earth. Future research could aid in defining the mass at which neutron stars and black holes become distinct entities. Pulsars are created when large stars run out of nuclear fusion fuel and lose the external energy that keeps them from collapsing due to gravity, just like all neutron stars and black holes do. Similar to an ice skater drawing in their arms to speed up their revolution, the core of such a star rotates dramatically faster as its core collapses and outer material is thrown away in a supernova. A neutron star is created as a result of the core collapsing. This object has the mass of the Sun or more and has a diameter of about 12 miles or the width of a city on Earth. It is so dense that a teaspoon of it would weigh 4 billion tons, which is equal to stacking 600 great pyramids of Giza on a spoon. The majority of this material is neutrons, therefore if the star is large enough, the gravitational pull from within overwhelms it, forcing a full collapse that results in the formation of a black hole. It's not really clear where the line is drawn, though. The greatest mass that pulsars can achieve constrains the physics in these extreme environments, which cannot be duplicated on Earth. Pulsars are basically balls of the densest stuff we can measure. Because they emit powerful radiation, pulsars are also regarded as extreme stellar remnants. These beams, almost like cosmic lighthouses, sweep across space since they aren't aligned with their axis of rotation. As they turn to face Earth, they emit pulses at regular intervals. Spider systems are thought to occur when one star in a binary system evolves more quickly than its partner, creating a pulsar with light beams, including gamma rays, that sweep in and out of our field of vision on Earth. The pulsar feeds on the matter from its binary companion early in its life, pulling this matter away in a jet of gas carrying angular momentum. The star remnant gains angular momentum via the deposition of this gas onto the pulsar, which causes it to spin up and accelerate its revolution. The stellar companion side that faces the pulsar is superheated and eroded as the pulsar ceases feeding and instead starts launching high-energy particles and radiation as it spins more quickly. These spider systems are split into two groups with names that are appropriately arachnid-inspired, a Black Widow system has a pulsar and a larger stellar companion that has between 10% and 50% the mass of the Sun, while a Redback system pairs a pulsar with a smaller stellar companion that has less than 5% of the mass of the Sun. From the light that spider systems release, astronomers have been able to learn a wealth of information about them. For instance, Measurements of radio waves can indicate the speed of the pulsar and the companion's motion in visible light. However, because these measurements are based on velocities toward and away from Earth, the orientation of these systems concerning Earth has an impact on them. Changes in this velocity for systems we observe face on can result in signals that puzzlingly resemble those from a smaller, slower orbiting system when viewed from the side. Because of this complexity, Comprehending the system and its mass requires knowledge of the tilt of the system. The tilt of the system can be determined by astronomers using visible light data, although these calculations can be challenging. For instance, the visible light signature of the system may fluctuate if the superheated side of the companion star passes in and out of view. Additionally, as astronomers are only now beginning to comprehend how stars superheat, models based on various heating patterns may provide varying outcomes. Gamma rays in a spider system are only produced by the pulsar, not the companion star, and are produced at such high energies that they cannot be obstructed by the system's dust or debris. 
If the gamma ray signal disappears, astronomers can be certain that the pulsar was eclipsed by the companion star. The fact that astronomers can clearly observe the system from the side allows researchers to check the companion star's velocity and the pulsar's mass. Hope you all liked the video. Subscribe to our channel for more interesting stuff. Meet you all in the next one.